Hi. Good morning. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Um, right, this week we're going to get those gates on. The gates are going up. I cannot wait. We're excited. It's going to look and great. And hopefully paint them and... Well, as much yeah. as well, try and finish them, basically. Definitely. And I think we should also get things ready and turn the house into a building site. Mm. We need sand, we need to get... Oh, we've got so many things to get. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's go. First things first, let's go for a dog walk. Head up to the gate posts and see where these hinges measure up. <laughs> pudding, pudding, get out of the way. I've just marked out for our hinge bracket where they're going to go. On there, obviously this is a little bit screw with, so I think I'm going to drill it and then I'm going to see how flat it is with that on there and I might just try and even it up, grind it flat and then screw it on or pack it. I haven't made my mind up yet. Great. But yeah, let's drill it and get these bottom two on. Yeah. And then soon we'll have gates. Uh -huh. <laughs> What you got there? Colour for the gate. Colour for the gate? Well, you know, I went to the hardware store the other day. I thought it would be zingy. But that's like... It's like baby blue. Do you like it? No. What do you mean, do I like it? it? <laughs> There's nothing, life... nothing here is baby blue. <laughs> On your lovely handcrafted gates. Are you serious? You don't like it? What do you mean, am I serious? Is that green on the front? <laughs> Joke! I think it needs a mix. Well, I hope it needs a mix. Here it goes. Oh, that's quite satisfying, actually. Did you actually think it was baby blue? It is baby blue. <laughs> no, whatever. Did you think I'd chosen baby blue? Oh, wow, look at that. Is this some sort of wizardry? You're a magician, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Thank you. It should be. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, well, we'll, we'll I was. We'll come back to this. Obviously, because I was. This is going to be maybe a marital about the colour. <laughs> <laughs> I have tested out the paint. It's not very clear to see. You'll be pleased to hear it wasn't turquoise. <laughs> I'm such a joker. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, tools in the back of the car because our other car is in the garage. Let's not talk about it. Uh, I, last night, I chemical chem fixed uh, some bar into our new gate post, uh, as you can see here. So now I'm going to bolt the hinges on, try and get them nice and level and square, and then we'll try a gate and see if they clang together and don't fit. Up we go. Let's see how far Badger's got 
with the hinges. How's it going? Just the granite's not flat, so I'm just having to pack it so it's as best as it can be. Oh, I see, yeah. Um, yeah, because you can see it's all... Yeah, so I have to get it roughly where I want nibbly it. Nibbly nobbly. Yeah, roughly where I want it, and then I get... Measure how many washers it will need behind each. So that's four behind that one. Four on the front there, and then... Five. Yeah. <laughs> Five on there, and I'll get some more just to measure that one. And then that should be the last one ready to go. Houston, we have a problem, don't we? Yeah, the gates are really heavy, and we've got to get them up there. <laughs> and so, our four by four is broken, which means we can't pull the trailer, which means we've got to be the trailer. We have to be the trailer. Get one. I have just had two massive cheese and pickle sandwiches, so I feel as energetic as a slug. <laughs> Well, I need more than I need and more as than strong a as a butterfly. <laughs> right, hold this. I need to get some straps. You got it. Um, look how big they are, and extremely heavy. Um, and we have to get them from the barn to all the way up the drive to where the gates are going. So, um, thanks, car, for being broken. <laughs> so the first plan is to <laughs> use a very skinny strap on a very small sack truck. Could work. Well, possibly. <laughs> I'm so glad we got that really fancy trailer for things like this. Back. Yeah, you gotta film all angles. All the angle of the dangle. I love it. Alright, let's go and get another one. Is she Gary level? No. No. That's what we've got to adjust the bottom bit for. Okay. It looks so cool. Well done. Let's get the other one, let's get the other one. I want to see them look as a pair. Okay. Come on then. I reckon. Oh, Badger. <laughs> you, dragging them up the hill. Take me there.
Too bad. Oh, well, Bob's your uncle. And Annie's your plant. Is it level? Yeah. So it's just this one. Well done. And I think it's just got to come up that much, is it? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I can't see. One second. Yeah, look. Come up to there. Yeah. That should level it out. Well done. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I can Ready? see you. Ready? I can see you. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to do that? A long time. They're really cool. So that one goes as far as that, so you don't think this is... Obviously they're quite chunky. I like them chunky. Plenty. Yeah, I think it's perfect. They're very cool. Now I get to paint them, yeah? Yeah, well, I just want to, I want to need to pretty them. Beveling. You put some champers and stuff on. What's a champer? On the edge here. Oh, right. The router. Oh, not a bevel. Is that something different? Similar. Right, so I am so chuffed with these gates. Very proud of you, Badger. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually very proud of them. It's been a lot of work over a lot of months. It has. And they a look lot of epic. measuring stuff that didn't exist yet. Yeah, they look amazing. So. They look really cool. Um, so now I'm going to paint them because we have a dry afternoon and I really want to get... The paint is like a protective paint as well. Um, we are going for the dark green like you saw before. Not turquoise blue. Um, basically my favourite colour. The bus is that colour. The barn roof is that colour and our house windows are going to be that colour. Um, I keep calling it a Portuguese green. don't know yeah, if it is. A lot of the windows in Portugal are that green. Yeah, a lot of the windows and the kind of metalwork, the fencing and stuff are that kind of dark. I think they call, like it's like a fur green. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my job now. And Badger is, what are you going to do? I'm just going to route the edges with this curve. Like that. So run it over. Like that. You're so. such a big kid. <laughs> Everything you describe to me, you do with like a little sound effect. It helps, doesn't it? Like <laughs> now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think it will finish it off really nicely, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Entrance. <laughs> Entrance. There's a 10 euro fee now <laughs> because it looks so grand. <laughs> I am so chuffed with them. They've come up, the choice of colour is epic, honey. Oh, thanks. But they <laughs> the just one look thing mega. I chose. They just look awesome. They There's look a little amazing. bit you can't see up there. Is that... <laughs> I'm a bit short. <laughs> but that was making me think, actually. I feel like with such grand gates, we keep calling it the land, or obviously home, um, 
But we need to name it, don't we? We do need to name it. So, if anyone has any amazing ideas for a name for our land... Preferably Portuguese, though. Yeah, we would like it Portuguese, I think. We don't want it to be, like, some sort of crazy, like... Live, laugh, laugh. Live, life, laugh, love. Mom. Forever, or the Scotters. <laughs> no, we or... want all of your ideas. Um, please comment down below because yeah, because we could translate them. Yes. Oh, that's true. Yes, we As can well. translate them. Um, I think it definitely needs a land, and I think because no, you guys, <laughs> it needs land. It is land. It is land. It definitely needs a name, and because you're on our journey with us, all right. It would be great if one of you picks the name. So the gateway to the journey. Ta -da! I love it. So the gates are on. I'm so chuffed with them. Um, I'm also super mega chuffed the fact that they hang level and there's a perfect gap between them, which I wasn't expecting considering I made them months ago. But super chuffed. On to the next project. I think it's time that we really get stuck into the extension. So I'm going to go get some sand and some cement and some other bits and bobs from the builder's merchant. And we're going to get the wall plates and sole plates ready for building the extension. Let's get it on. We've just had a delivery of sand ready to make the bed for the extension timbers to sit on. Woohoo! Right Badger, so gates are up. Yeah. Massive job done. We are so proud of them. They're so cool, I love them. <laughs> they are so cool. It feels like it's now, I don't know, like a proper home. Yeah. Um, so, we have a couple of dry weeks now. Yes. So all systems go. Well, some sort of cementing work. Yeah, so talk to me, what's the plan? We're going to get the sole plate and the wall plates for the extension and the roof bed on, level, perfect. Then we can get them nice and dry. Then we can drill them into the old stone, set ready for putting the roof on. Amazing. And putting the walls up. So today is sand, sand. sand shoveling. Sand shoveling, get it into a pile, go and get the mixer, get the cement, and make a little bed all the way around and level it. Perfect. Plan. Let's go. Great. And it's not too hot, so you're happy. Yeah. And it's not raining. And it's not raining, so it's. I've got no excuse to say anything now. Yeah, it's, ba it's per Badger's perfect weather today. It is. It's like... Overcast, boring, dull. <laughs> not hot, not cold. It's just perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Muito perfecto. <laughs> beautiful car back as I'm sure you can hear it trucking away in the background um, which is such relief because it means we can go Badger's been to pick up sand for the concreting we've been to pick up the cement bags um, from the builders merchant and we've got our cement mix from the barn the generator that we need to collect so yeah it's very helpful to have the car back um, we can do all the heavy lifting jobs with her can't we yeah 
So Badger's just done his best off-roading through <laughs> the land. Yeah, well, the generator sits down here because of the noise. Um, and actually, we're building up there. So we're coming so we're, to collect her. Rather than having 300 cables all connected together to get the power up there. <laughs> we're coming to bring her out of the, the wilderness and into civilization. Yeah. Right, so the wood is loaded up onto the trailer um, and then we're going to bring it back up to the house. We need some of it for the wall plate, but also we thought we'd just fill the trailer up because we're going to need all the wood. Um, so yeah, a day of shuffling. I cannot tell you how happy I am that we have a trailer. I know I keep going on about it, but when the wood got delivered first time round, which was back in... January last year I think um, so it's been drying all year um, but we had it got delivered in one place and we had to move it to another and it took so long so the luxury of being able to drive it up to the house where we're gonna build with it oh it's just such a great feeling What are you smugly staring at me like that for? I'm not. You, you just look very strong and handsome today. Oh. <laughs> right, so Badger, yep. I do most comments mm -hmm. and we have had so many comments, like yep. I told you, mm -hmm. about the width of our lovely new doorway. This one. That one, yeah. Yep. So please could you just clear it up because it does, I have to say on the video, it does look super skinny. Yes. Uh, I'll clarify a few things. Um, people were talking about putting stone above um, but the reason is we have this original roof which we're going to replace and then we're having another roof going this way over the kitchen so actually it's not going to be supporting pretty much hardly any weight at this end so it's not in need of a huge stone but we are going to make out of oak the same as we have the, the big A-frame and we're going to put a big piece of oak over the top and then our wall plate so that'll all be mucked in and levelled and secure and bolted in so yeah. It's not to worry about that, that is going to be absolutely fine. This was just to hold everything nice and sturdy as we've taken the link between this side of the wall and that wall out. So now it's all solid and sturdy so we can work around it without knocking bits. Um, but the doorway, <laughs> there is no door going on here. Yeah, it's going to just be a walkthrough, I it's guess. It's just going to be a walkthrough and it'll probably have a thin, probably 20 mil, large, wide piece of wood just to tidy it up once it's plastered in or however, whichever design we go for in the end. So what is our measurement of that doorway? So the doorway at its tightest point from stone to stone is 830 millimetres. So 83 centimetres. So if you take 50 off that, that gives you 78 because we're going to have a 25 mil piece of timber either side to frame it, yeah. which leaves you with 78, which is two centimeters 20 mil more than the average doorway yeah so it, it does look skinnier Not including, including stops and things it's probably wider than a normal doorway yeah so, so it, it does looks look skinnier but it's not yeah it does look skinnier but it and isn't. if that gives it any representation this little bit that's 900 to this opening yeah which is plenty yeah so so there you go i'm not and also we have two enormous doors around the back to get furniture in. yeah so and people commented that maybe it'd be nice to be the same width as the bathroom door but the bathroom door is extremely wide and because we're restricted on size in our living room we didn't want to make too much of a doorway here because obviously we'll lose wall space on that like in the living room 
I hope that makes sense to people. <laughs> well, here, look. <laughs> Perfect. Me out there. <laughs> right, so we've gathered all the stuff all yes. morning, getting the cement, the cement mixer, the wood, everything. Sand and everything, yep. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to put a sole plate on, which is across these uh, granite stones, which you saw put in for our kitchen extension. We're going to put a timber sole plate, which is just bedded down on sand and cement and perfectly level all the way around and then mechanically fixed at every kind of 600. And that just locks all of the granite stones together, but it also gives a perfectly level uh, surface to start our walls on. Great. So we get that all gone and that'll go off and then you do the same for the wall plate. So across the top of here, that old one will come off and then a new one will go on, which will be perfectly level and mucked in. And then that will be mechanically fixed down into the granite, which will hold it all together. And then that down into the big bit of oak, which will go over there, which will hold that together. And then once we point it all back up, it'll all be solid. Perfect. So hopefully it won't blow away in the wind. No, it won't blow in the wind. <laughs> it's about 300 million tonnes of granite. <laughs> Keep the riffraff in. Um, great week, babe. Great After week. the slashing week. It's been wet. It's been wonderful. We've had the gates up. We've prepared for next week and we've got two weeks of dry weather. Everybody pray that we get the dry weather. <laughs> yeah, because we need to get the sole plates on and the roof. And the wall plates. Wall plates. Yeah, ready for the roof and the walls and everything like that. But if it's dry, it just makes everything go so much quicker. Yes, it Not having does. to like cover tools up all the time that are getting wet. Yeah, and us just being soggy. And, soggy all the time. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Anyway, I want everybody who's watching this to share this with as many people as possible. We'd love all as many subscribers as possible because it helps our channel grow and it makes everything worthwhile for us. Absolutely. I have no idea about algorithms or anything, but please do hit that subscribe button because it definitely makes a massive difference to our channel. Anyway, we're going to go get dry we'll see you and next week. Um, we'll see you next week, hopefully in the sunshine. Jungle.